What we gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back in the time. Hey, what's up, everybody? Gizmo Rider here again, and uh, I got some more goodies from my bike. Got an MRA motorcycle windshield. It's not wrong. Let me, uh, turn on this TV. Anyway, an MRA, MRA motorcycle windshield. It's a, the touring windshield. As many as, as many of you know, it's winter. And, uh, God damn it if it isn't cold. I mean I'd be up north, but it's it's still it's still not the um still not that warm. It's not like it's Florida or Texas, but I got this what, what, what did I buy? <laughs> I, I know. I know I bought a windshield, it's but uh, sit that there. That's the windshield. I forgot exactly what it's called. Ah. Anyway. Um. All right. Make the most of this is a Vario, a MRA Vario Touring Windscreen Windshield for my bike. And there's the one that's on there now. I guess we have had the bike before or bought it because that's not the stock. It's also made by MRA, but I'm not sure what kind. I probably, I, I don't know which which version this is, but this is the one I bought. And it should fit on here. As you can see, it's the old one is right there, and this one extends up further about two more inches. So that should help to get the wind a little bit higher. Plus, it comes with this Vario thingy. This Vario thing right here. This top part. I'm gonna put this on before I head out again today and see how that goes. The instructions say I'm supposed to put this on the, the shield somewhere. It doesn't show where. There's some instructions in fucking German, but I don't I don't know German. I don't even know if they have anything to do with this piece here, so let's see if I can find something online. I have no clue what the hell this is even for. Alright. So, apparently... If I'm looking at this picture right, that rubber thing goes along the top edge. So, that's where I'll put it. I also want to show you guys something real quick. Now, the one that I ordered... Ordered this, of course, and it's uh, come on, camera, you can do it. Okay, can't do it. Focus, focus, fo no, you won't focus. Okay, whatever. Anyway, that says one hundred and fifty dollars. So, yeah. But there was a. You can also buy the shield. I don't know if it's the exact same shape, but you can also buy a shield by itself. It's a little bit different, but it's still a torn wind, wind, um, windshield. And it's 105 bucks. Now, to get the burial type thing that's at the top, you can buy it separately. And here is a bolt on version. And it's a uh, 120 bucks. So if you can't, if there's no shield that you can buy, then you can get this to do the same thing and at the top to angle the wings and stuff. And that's um 120 bucks. 
And here's the piece that you can buy that clamps on it. It's 140 bucks, as you can see in this picture. They just clamped it on. So if I wanted to use my original shield, I could have just bought that. But that's 140, and that's what it, it's like. And that's um 120. And I bought the, a whole shield for 150. So yeah, that's that's why I did. That's why I bought that one. So for, for those for those of you who can't buy a shield, I, you, can, you can buy one of these. I'll let you guys know how it blocks the wind out of my face. But I just think it should be more than a hundred dollars for that little piece of plastic. I don't know where the cost comes from. Since I studied industrial design, I'm always thinking of like why does something cost as much? Like what's its manufacturing and how they ship it and what materials they use and and then I look at other products that are from the same company that kind of does the same thing. And I never figure out sometimes why they price items and what they do. Like I understand that that was like 60, 50, maybe even 70 dollars, but 100, 120, 140, nah bruh, I don't think so. Alright, old windshield on. An old windshield off. Time to put on the new one, which is over there on the on Gizmo. The old one's over there sitting on my stuff. My helmet's on. And almost lost this little motherfucker right here because when I took it off, the, the pressure that was on it was so tight that it was sitting there. So I left it. And I went in my room. And then I heard something fall, and I was like, expletive. And then I saw something on the ground, I was like, okay, it's right there. But no, it was the other one that fell. The other one fell off when I took it off. This one stayed on. So I picked that one up thinking it was the, the one that I thought just fell. But I found it. Luckily, this garage isn't too dirty. So now I'm going to put the new one on. And now, and now the new windshield is on. I did not, well I just have to tighten it. I left out me struggling to get this stupid thing on. But it's on there now. Oh yeah, I like that, yeah, it's nice. Go out riding the day. And see how it, uh, how it works for me. But it's on there now. Uh, wish this thing had a uh, focus, but it was cheap. It was a cheap camera, so if I was using my phone or something else, that would come into focus. But yeah, now I got got my torn windshield. Oh, well. Let's do a recap. Starting with the new, the newest. Um, so I got my torn windshield, and then I got my hand guards. Those, those are great. They've been blocking the wind nicely, even though it's still cold. I, I need my electric gloves, but they help a lot. I guess I should have said my my electric glove stuff second, but whatever. Oh, and now, man, we got the spools for lifting the bike up and protection in the crash. And then we got the uh, the little alu alu rack for my top case right there. And my little bags. Eventually, I'll get the side ones, the side cases, and an engine an engine frame protector slider that goes around. I might get something. I might get a radiator cover. Not sure yet. I don't really go do off roading and stuff. That's what it's for. So you don't like kick up rocks. But I don't really do that. So I don't know about that one. The ones I get those last two things, the uh, side cases and the side case framing and the um, 
engine thing. I think I I think I'm done with uh, adding stuff. I might do horrible paint slash what's the vinyl jobs to it. Well, I, without the intention of it being horrible, but you know, I'm gonna do it myself. Ugh. Eventually gonna have to get new tires, but yeah. So I'm just gonna tighten this down. And then I'll be done with that. And that's the newest addition to, to Mogi. Is a torn windshield. And I'm out!